Hi, I'm Bruce, and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week it's a race against time, as a week of no rain means only one thing. Full steam ahead on the yurt build. Part 1 of 2 sees me finishing off the platform, and even squeezing a trip to the Aran Islands in. If you're new here, it'd be pretty great if you could subscribe, and become part of our ever-growing community. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. The weather is looking good for this week, so that means I'm basically going to stick with the yurt now. I'm going to try and get this thing finished. Floorboards on, insulation on, varnished, and yurt yeah, assembled. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to film because I just kind of want to crack on, but I'm going to do my best to take you with me. Tiny snail. Right, I just managed to get the last bit in. <clears throat> oh god, even with the mask on, the dust gets in. Horrible stuff, I'm glad this job's over. So, tomorrow I'm going to be getting on with the floorboards. I'm going to go in for some dinner and get scrubbed up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, it's a new day. I have a team of helpers with me now. Moving all the floorboards from the back of the house down next to the yurt. So yeah, uh, I'm going to spend today getting these floorboards on and hopefully if I have time get a coat of stain on them as well. Well done Bubs. Saving your old man's back. And you. If you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, it's because this is reflecting so brightly when the sun's out, I actually can't see what I'm doing. It's not me trying to look cool, as cool as these glasses are. Right. 22. Oh, just what I'll do. Grab the end of that board. Got a bit of a twist on this one. Thank you. 
Flying ants are back. Okay, so a lesson to be learned. I know it should be obvious. I've been walking barefoot on this deck. And as I got to the centre, I have a screw in there to reference the circles I'm cutting all of these floorboards. And uh, I've already actually kicked it once and thought I'll remember that it's there. I didn't remember that it's there, and this time really caught it with my foot. Blood everywhere. I won't show you, it's pretty gross. So I now have a red teapot lid. I'm going to stick over the top of it so that I can see where it is. Silly me. So it's ten past nine and just in the nick of time Annie's turned up with uh, an extra set of screws that I was needing. I just ran out. Um, I think I'm going to put the camera down now and just crack on because I want to try and get all of these done and I'm actually heading to the Aran Islands tomorrow with the family so try and get this done before it gets dark. Let's say hello. <laughs> say hello. Hi. We're on the boat. I'm double hatted. <laughs> Can you hang my clothes? No. I need to go to the toilet. You're scamming me. I'm not scamming you. I need to go to the toilet. Take my clothes and I'll take them back in a minute. Okay. This is lovely. I don't think I actually want to go home. Hi guys. Normally, when I start a day, it's the morning and I take you across the whole day. But I have had an absolutely mental day. Annie and the girls are in Cork City with Annie's sister and Annie's dad. And uh, I have finished getting all of the boards onto the yurt deck. Annie's car broke down. It needs a new water pump. At the same time, a friend of ours broke down, needed me to go out and give her a hand, which I was happy to do. But as a result of that, it means that I've just got to get a coat of stain onto this deck before tomorrow. And let you in on everything I'm getting a pretty awesome piece of equipment for my workshop. So before the sun goes down, I'm going to show you a sunset and get the rest of this stain on the deck. Okay, so this morning I had to learn the fairly obvious lesson that you shouldn't paint anything in the dark. And uh, the roller was not the best thing to use for that particular stain and ended up making a kind of mottled finish on one part of the deck. So the bit that you missed was me sanding that back down and repainting the whole thing. I thought it was doing my head in, so... It probably wouldn't be the most interesting thing to see on a video. But anyway, this is where we're at now. The deck is finished, completely ready to go. And um, yeah, next week we're going to be putting the earth up. So I'm going to have to leave it here. I'll see you guys next week. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions about what I'm doing, leave it in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week.